What we have here is just one particular type of arrangement with the content, but let's take a look at how we could rearrange it and how flexible it is with our grid system. So go to edit and choose select all, and then I'll edit and copy all that content. I'll jump to pages four to five and then go to edit and choose paste in place. I'm going to zoom out using a keyboard shortcut and I'll grab the caption and move that to the side. And then I'm going to move the copy off the side of the page. And then what if this image ran across to about here? So we get a nice full image that bleeds on the right hand side page and it comes across onto the left hand side page. Well, here, if I double click on that text frame and then select all, I'm going to choose to align that text to the left hand side this time. And then move my text frame across. We don't actually need the second separate frame this time. I don't think we can probably get away with just having one. And then just pull this one back and have this spanning across six columns. Of course, the thing that's missing from here are the page numbering. So if I right click on B numbers, master page name and choose apply master to pages from the drop down menu, there's an option to choose all pages and I'll click OK. So you notice down at the bottom left and right hand side of those pages respectively. If I click on the images layer, it's then at this point that I could experiment with embellishments like uh, a banner at the top that I could maybe put a uh, category inside of and just start to introduce color into the composition. Again, none of this is hard or fast. It's just experimenting to get a feel for a layout and a design. It's all part and parcel of trying to get things to work cohesively. That starts, of course, with your body copy, your subheading, your headings, your captions. Once they're tied together and working well with one another, then it's a case of using shape and color to tie everything together further because your ultimate goal is to make everything on that page have a purpose, have to justify why it's there, and it has to belong to the entire publication. It doesn't want to be jarring. It doesn't want to take people out of the article. Everything has to feel like it's there and has a purpose. Again, if I you know, take a copy of all this content and then move it across to another page, to give you an example of how we can manipulate our content. Again, just here using this gray box as a placeholder for an image frame. If this ran full bleed from left to right as a panoramic image in the layout, you could use the lower half and the white space to run your text through. Obviously my copy for the body in here is that in one text frame, but I can go to the control panel at the top and I can split that into two virtual columns, put the right gutter value in there, and then I can thread that text onto the right hand side page. Again, just change the number of columns in there. If I set that gutter value correct in there, I can experiment with maybe having that over two columns if I wish. Just move that caption to the spare two columns that's on the left hand side page. If I don't like that copy being in two columns, I can expand it even further and then subdivide it so it's in a three column layout. As much as creating a grid system seems tedious and it's time consuming, it is, but it will pay dividends uh, along the way, saving you time. And you will have to experiment with your copy and your layouts, maybe creating two or three pages and making sure that what you're creating works holistically throughout your publication. But as long as you're consistent about the typographic treatment you're using, about your colors, about the way you place things, you can use the grid system for what it's there for. Some pages are going to be heavy in copy and you need to include a lot of content, but then you'll want to change the pace a little bit, give the reader a little bit of light relief, have a full double page spread with an image and a little bit of copy. And that's what your type treatment and your grid system is there for. It's flexibility and consistency.